Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and another Sims free play design. I call this the Little Lofts. Cool, well it's built on a penthouse apartment here. There doesn't seem to be anything little about it to me. It looks <laughs> massive with all of those wonderful double height windows. Well, the little stuff will be obvious when we get to the inside. As you said, it looks big on the outside. That's because with a penthouse lot, we get two floors mm -hmm. and we get something like 12 by 24 squares to build on. So I thought, why not make use of all of that potential real estate and make more than one apartment on this penthouse lot. Oh, I see. So how many have you gone for? I uh, think we're going to see five. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So someone's making buku money by renting out all of these. <laughs> So let's start here at the elevator and we'll go into apartment number one. Mm -hmm. There were a couple of reasons I wanted to do more than one apartment. First of all is because we recently got the feature walls quest and that quest has allowed us to have more than one wall color in a room. So mm -hmm. I thought, well, how can you possibly show off all of the wall colors that we got from completing that quest in the time limit? with just like one single build so mm -hmm. why not build five apartments okay could have just done with one build with many many rooms uh, fine <laughs> but this is this is cool time. too man rain on my parade why don't you <laughs> anyway so this is apartment number one mm -hmm. and as you can see it has a little living area here we have these windows here and as you mentioned from the outside they are double height because we have a bit of a loft space going on and that is why mm. these are called the little lofts. Yeah this is possibly too small of an apartment for us but <laughs> I would like it. It looks lovely. Well here... There's no dining table. Yeah 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 I was gonna point that out. I had to make some sacrifices for this tiny mm -hmm. city living and so one of the sacrifices for this particular apartment is that there is no dining table but they do have these bar stools against the counter here and I have not skimped on counter space. Yeah this is actually a pretty big kitchen. Mm. Basically takes up half of the apartment. Well, it's only fair. I mean... Yeah, living, <laughs> eating, <laughs> and then know. sleeping, three parts. Yeah, there's gonna be sleeping upstairs, mm -hmm. but before we go upstairs, let's duck back here behind the actual staircase and get into the bathroom. And the wow. bathroom is also big. That is really big, yeah. You'll see why when we go upstairs, mm -hmm. why the occupants maybe wanted this particular apartment, even though they didn't have a dining space. But right. I mean, it's all what you want to do with the place. Like you could have had dining space here if you wanted to. It's about how you configure the furniture. Yeah, if you could get rid of that plant and put a table in. Likewise, if you wanted a washer and dryer, it looks like there's space for that in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go up the stairs mm -hmm. that gets into that loft space that I mentioned before that you saw a different angle of before. And up here we've got the wall colorings continuing. These walls, by the way, are from the maternity store. If you have earned enough maternity store tokens from doing enough pregnancy events, you can unlock that. And then on this side, we have these walls from, I guess these were also from the feature walls quest. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. That lovely pastel color. So and looks like they're expecting or planning for an extra member of the family, whoever lives here. Exactly. So that's why they were perfectly happy to have a big bathroom downstairs mm -hmm. so that they could wash the baby and all that stuff. I mean, I, I just figure when you have a baby, you need a big bathroom Yeah. or you, you benefit from having a big bathroom. Yep, and that's a yeah, really nice space, really cool to look down mm -hmm. from the mezzanine, I guess, down onto the main floor below. And also there's a little bookcase nook area off the side there. Yeah, and this is because I basically just had the space for it. As you can see, the hallway on the first floor is right here. And so what we actually mm -hmm. have in the loft space is a one square overhang of mm. the first floor because this now is a wall shared with the apartment across the hall. Yes. So let's go ahead and check out that apartment. Oh, go okay. back downstairs to the first floor. This apartment is going to have pretty much the same layout as the apartment that we just saw. So we have, again, the living space here. Instead of a plant, they have laptop because that's what they prioritize is a laptop yeah, over fine. plants. And their wall colors are a little different, so their furniture has changed a bit to match the wall colors. So here we've got the red and this kind of mustardy brown. 
So the furniture colors are kind of like that, the red jaguar pattern sofa, some kind of big yeah, jumbo sofa, cat. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the rug has got some orange accents and stuff like that. And so that is reflected throughout the apartment, as you will see. So Very nice. behind and... here is their bathroom. They have a slightly different tile compared to across the hall, I do believe. Yeah, yep. on the floor there. Mm -hmm. Yep, looking good. Yeah, I love how just with a few different changes, things like changing the floor and rugs and some of the furnishings, it can feel very different. Yeah. So as you can see, more of that is going on up here in the loft space. Mm. Again, with the colorful decorations, we've got the bed, which is this orange and pink, and the rug, which has got that like purple and pinkish geometrical pattern. We've got their bookcase also in red and with that sort of jagged geometrical pattern. Yeah, super and, colorful and modern. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. What I was going to say is for there's a door off of the bedroom just as there is for the apartment opposite. And yes. it looks like that goes out onto a cute little balcony. Yes, it does, as you can see. So this apartment has a little seating area here with a hanging plant. And this apartment over here has a little seating area with just plants in holders or what do they what do you call these? Planters. Planters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool, so that's been two of the five apartments. They look really nice. I just wanted, to, I think like the challenge of doing apartments, we've done apartments on the channel before, but the challenge of doing apartments is trying to give each one its own personality in the decorations. Mm -hmm. So the layouts should be the same, the structure should be the same, like the counters are probably in the same places, but the personality is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There will be different layouts for these other apartments going forward. So let's start over here through these double doors. These, wow. these next two apartments will have double doors to get in. And here is the layout for this one. So Ooh, look at all that white. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Here we have the walls in a pink and then also a pale pink. And they have their seating area here. And that's with these particular I don't know what the style of furniture is called, but I just got these from Architect Houses, I believe, and you know, you can pick these up. They were in-app purchases, but they have since shown up in lots of Architect Houses, and I think mm -hmm. also in other template houses that are available in the game. So they have matching gardeny type of chairs mm -hmm. around their dining table, so they have room for a dining table. Yeah, this room's a little bit longer or just definitely yes. configured maybe. Yeah, I think it's longer. I think so. I don't just have the, the Because the bathroom isn't downstairs, it seems. Correct, yeah. The it's bathroom. like there's an extra two squares. Yeah, the bathroom will be upstairs. So but Look at that beautiful yeah. kitchen. Yeah, it's really nice. And here mm -hmm. we have an accent wall of subway tile. So that's really Makes sense a for the great kitchen. Yeah, feature that I love being able to do now in the game. And if you go up the stairs, this is their loft area. Mm -hmm. I really love this. They've just got room. I mean, they prioritized making room for their king size bed here. That is a big bed. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of wardrobe space as well. Yeah. Yeah, not tons of general storage in these apartments, but our little sims don't need too much. Well, that's the sacrifice of city living. If you don't exactly. have a huge penthouse all to yourself and you're just sort of crammed into a little loft, then you gotta make do with what space Live you have. minimally. Yeah, so there is just room over here for a little Ooh. vanity table. Yeah, this cute. is a limited time item in the game. It's been in and out of the game at various times. Their painting, I love this, that matches kind of with the wall coloring. And then here is their bathroom, if you can see through there. So this cool. is a little smaller than the bathroom in the previous yep. apartments, but they have prioritized room for laundry machines. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so across the hall from this apartment is going to be this one. So this is a different color scheme, as you can see. We've got kind of browns and we've got exposed brick. I know yeah. how you feel about exposed brick, but I really love it. So I think that their color scheme is a bit more earthy. That's kind of what I went for. So, mm -hmm. you know, more natural materials. So that's why they have these island villa pieces here, or well, actually it's just the one island villa piece, but I think <laughs> it matches with this angled chair from the hair salon event and the magazine table there. And then over here, they've got a rustic, so getting back to that feel of 
natural materials. They've got a rustic table from the Latin Villa set of furniture. And I think these chairs I got from Mystery Box. And here is their kitchen. Cool. Another beautiful kitchen. Yep. Again, with the accent wall there. Mm -hmm. And by the way, they've got double height, oop, double height windows, you know, like that. So you can see them from the loft area. And that is the case with the apartment across the way here cool. as well. So this is their loft area. They have gone for this Scandinavian bed, and this is their closet area, and then this is what they've got going on in that walkway, and they prioritized over a vanity table, they prioritized computer, and then through here is their bathroom. Cool, very nice. And then there is one final apartment at the very okay. end of the hallway. Wow, all the way over here, okay double doors yeah and this apartment is i guess a bit more of a sleek minimalist modern style contemporary yeah of all the ones we've seen just looking at it right here it feels the one most likely to be a service department mm. you know where somebody would come and stay for a month while they're on business and they just get this managed apartment in the city yeah a pied a terre i guess yeah a little bit more corporate yes more minimal more kind of nothing offensive right nothing with too much character <laughs> Doesn't mean it's not tastefully done, but it doesn't speak to the particular people who are living there because it's got to be workable right. for whoever's living there at whatever time. I can, I can, I can understand that. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's long-term living, but yeah. not a home. Yeah. Yeah. So through here we have their seating area. They've got this Noguchi coffee table and this very corporate-looking leather sofa. <laughs> And a single French bookcase, which I think I just lifted from an architect home. And then over here is their dining table. I think I got this table from a mystery box, this gray version of the French chateau table. And then this is their kitchen area. And then back over here, they have their bathroom. And they've got room for laundry. So yeah, I guess if they're here on business, they can still get their laundry done. Yeah, particularly important if you're preparing for that big meeting. Mm -hmm. Now up the stairs, here is the loft <laughs> space. What are you laughing about? I'm just like, because there's a whole bunch of real estate and they're just like, nope, we're just going to have open two floors, make use of the space. The title That's, of the video oh, is I know, Little exactly. Lofts. exactly. It's real luxury. <laughs> like, it's like, yeah, we could have fit probably another bedroom up here. Yeah. But we're just going to have an awesome one bedroom apartment with this amazing overlook. Yeah. I mean, I'm it's not cool. sure that these are for families or anything. They're, no, no, they're exactly. good for maybe a couple or a single person. So mm -hmm. then it's more than fine to have a loft bedroom space looking over the very small living space. <laughs> yeah. But they also have a balcony Ooh. over here. So if they want to escape the indoors, they would be able to do that. Just come out here. We have a couple of these backyard beautification event items mm -hmm. to give it that more manicured feel of like a corporate apartment. Cool. So that is all five mm, of these little lofts. Yeah. I think they look great. You've packed a lot in in a small <laughs> amount of space, particularly given that more than half is just double height rooms. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I wish that these penthouses could actually be used for proper apartments. I mean, I definitely appreciate the fact that we have penthouses in the game, but I would love if we could use, for instance, the rest of these buildings yeah, one day. Yeah, that would be cool. Well, you know, we keep asking for more lots to build <laughs> on, and there's only so much you can cram into a free-to-play game, I guess. I guess. Sure. But they do keep trying, so maybe one day. Alrighty guys, hopefully you enjoyed this tour of our little lofts. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims free play on the way. Thanks for watching.